hello YouTube. I uh, don't know whether it's morning, afternoon, or evening where you are, but what difference does it make? This is about Calvinism again. Calvinism again. Um, keeps coming up all over the place, uh, especially when uh, people are talking about uh, OSAS and conditionalism or conditional salvation, work salvation, lordship salvation, and all that. These, I mean, Calvinism has always seemed weird to me. I did uh, a video about someone's statement of faith, if you could call it that. Um, oh, how long ago was it? Maybe 18 months? Could have been about a year ago. Can't remember. I used to be in live streams with him and some other people from the Brian Danlinger crew, but I had a look at his so-called statement of faith on his channel. 982 is his username. He's only got six or seven subscribers. Not that that means much. Uh, but I, I recognise straight away from reading his so-called statement of faith that he's actually a Calvinist or a Calvinist Catholic or something. Uh, I read it out on a stream the other day, I screencast it. Um, in fact, I might even do it again just to make that point. Uh, Calvinism. Not keen on following doctrines, uh, so-called, or denominations named after the so-called reformer. I would never be a, Luth a Lutheran. Not in these times anyway, or a Calvinist. Obviously, hopefully, it's obvious. I would never follow Copeland, uh, Benny the Hindu. Not that they've got, but uh, not that they've got doctrines named after them, statements of faith, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, I'm just going to find his channel now and then. Now I've got a real uh, aversion to fo uh, following stuff like that. I think, actually, one of the main reasons is I don't like people trying to pigeonhole me like they work in Walmart or Tesco so and they just want to stick a label on you. Or you're with that denomination, so that they'll characterise you as being with that denomination. And then they'll have a long list of whinges about it or whatever. Which, of course, is up to them, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm going to share a screen. I've got his about page up. I don't think he's altered it. He hasn't even gone on it. I've mentioned it a few times. Uh, I'm going to share a screen now. Bear with me. I don't care if nobody comes to watch this stream or comment. It's completely meaningless to me. I'm just as happy to uh, talk to someone in my studio or in the side chat. And uh, I'm just as happy to do that as I am to delete my whole channel. Couldn't care less about YouTube. It's meaningless. Doesn't prove anything. How many subscribers or whatever? It didn't proof of anything or evidence. But here is his... Uh, not that many people would take John Craggan's word for it, but he will remember I did a video on uh, 982. He agrees that uh, this reads like Calvinism a blend of Calvinism and perhaps even Catholicism. Just want to make sure it can be read on screen. I think it can, can it? Yeah. I mean, I agree with him. Roman Catholicism it is the Antichrist religion, the whole of Babylon. But this just reads weird here. I mean, his grammar is a mess. 
He's Australian, by the way, Justin Laird. So what save you, Mr. Ness out there, Justin? Your prayer, your beliefs, your works, your tradition? Answer, God. He decides when and if you get saved. I mean, I don't want to be uncharitable with what we're saying here, but that does sound a bit like Calvinism. It's a gift. You have to convince him you're sorry. So he looks at the heart and decides. <laughs> <coughs> that is and I've made this statement at least seven or eight times and I've done videos about these Brian Denlinger nutters uh, God does not need convincing of anything by any, any human agency God already knows the truth now then, I think we'll get rid of that. I'm going to play a short video by a hypocrite. I'm sure you recognise who it is when you hear it. I'm going to play it now. Here we go. Hello, Kenny. Puritanical Pharisee. What is it? Well, it's what we see right before our eyes. It is those that have a Puritan spirit synthesized with the Pharisaic the Pharisaic 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 Puritan spirit. Puritan spirit. Oh, that dear. means that they, they want to meddle. Want to meddle. What's wrong with the Puritans? In fact, I'm going to share this video so I can pause it as I listen to it, and I'm going to comment. Hold on, press the wrong button. Share video file. Right, apologies for this mucking about. Didn't really plan this video. Well, I did sort of. Might as well Puritanical as well as Pharisee. What is it? Yeah. What's wrong with the Puritans? I don't say that the Puritans, and, I, and I'm not a Puritan. I've got a lot of respect for the Puritans. They were treated like garbage by the Catholics. Uh, they got America up and running, essentially, didn't they? The Puritans, they landed in the Mayflower at Plymouth Rock in, I think it's Massachusetts, if I'm not... Uh, if my memory serves me well. I wonder if he's conflating Puritans with Pharisees. I don't know. Well, it's what we see right before our eyes. Yeah, I'm hearing it myself, it actually. Like Puritan spirit. Puritan spirit. Synthesized with the Pharisaical spirit. And what does that mean? It means the blended. They are conflated. So he's saying that someone is Puritan as well as being Pharisaical and there's a blend there. So you could say Puritan Pharisee or something, some compound of those two words. Uh there's nothing wrong with the Puritans. They weren't perfect. There's no denomination that has ever been perfect. Even the early church in the first century, uh, they obviously, I mean, we know about the Galatians and, and, you know, and certain things going on that obviously should not have been. There were false gospels out there. People were trying to undermine the body of Christ even in the first century even within a year or two of Pentecost. So, 
all this has been going on for thousands of years, at least two, I mean, even longer. At least 2,000 years in terms of uh, Christian, uh, 2020, I would say. Something like that. Here we go then. That means that they want to meddle in your life. I don't see the connection or the line of reasoning there. I really don't. Uh, the internet's going a bit slow. What's going on there? I really don't see the connection between someone being a supposed Puritan or a Pharisee and wanting to meddle in people's lives. Let me tell you, Kenny, I've noticed, and I'm not, you know, in that community that you were a part of, I mean, you call it a community, it's more like a cult. Meddling in people's lives, let me see, let me think. Well, Praise I Am has made, or should I say, leveled certain accusations at Smokey. So has Ryan in the past. I know that that is a fact. In fact, I think he's the one who was boastfully going on about his doxing and having file jacket, that, uh, this, that, and the other, blah, blah. I've never made that accusation. I don't, I don't actually believe it's true, not in the way that it's being characterised. Crimson Air, at the end of a live stream in the studio, as you know, when, in, in, in StreamYard, when the stream ends, you can carry on conversation with people and it's not going live. So I was talking to this guy. He says he knows for a fact that a certain person is this, that and the other. Crimson Air. And yet that certain person who seems to be the leader of that community over there, Kenny, praising him, blah, blah. That's up to him. I don't really care, but I'm not meddling, meddling in other people's families or business. But let's carry on with that point. Now, that's praise out of the way. Mention a certain Presbyterian. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Oh, yeah. The synagogue, synagogue, or CJ as they call him. Yeah, he said some really unfortunate stuff. He has made, it seems, a fool of himself. They slag him off. And Bill, talk about meddling in somebody else's business, Kenny. Wow. Saying something like that to Bill, going on about his daughter like that, I would say that is an extreme form of meddling in somebody else's business. And yet you doing this video of yours on your channel, you've never rebuked him publicly for that. You never corrected him. He's never apologised for because it definitely is over the line. Cross the line there. And then Nicholas Proclaimer of whatever. He likes to grease the gospel up. But then they start going on about what sort of uh, duvet he's got. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got a racing car on his duvet. <laughs> Morons. How pathetic is that, Kenny? And then you go into Smokey's uh, channel, right in the middle, and start spurging at people, saying they're stupid. This, they may well have been stupid. Uh, I mean, in one case, you were obviously correct. I mean, I think we know what's meant, but, um, yeah, he made an ass of himself. 
thinking you're superior. I don't care if you've been a Christian for 40 years. I've been a Christian 29 years, but I don't use it as a means of putting anybody down. I don't think I'm any better than any other Christian, any other brother or sister in Christ. I don't think I'm that much worse. I think we're all pretty much as bad as each other. But I really don't go around meddling in people's family business. But all these people have made these accusations and stuff. And not only those people that have mentioned this, I mean, a certain other person in Mississippi mentioned it. Didn't take him long to find out about those accusations and he's dealing with it. The, the truth needs to be exposed regarding it. I'm not interested in shaming anybody. I don't believe that he is that. I think I know what happened. I've heard these stories before in jail. Uh, and I've never been in a jail with uh, so uh, pedos. But I have be about I, I have met a lot of victims of that kind of thing in there. For instance, in 1983, and this is nearly 30 years before it even got in the papers. I found out in 1983 at Gartry about Jimmy Savile and Leon Britton, the Home Secretary, who used to work at a Borstal in this country, like a young, young person's prison. In fact, I do remember, a, not all of the conversation, I do remember a conversation with a guy called Jimmy on Sea Wing, I think it was 83 or 84, he was a Catholic, I don't know whether he's, I don't even know if he's still alive actually. I mean that was 1990, 1983, oh that was 38 years ago. And he was quite old then, so he's probably has passed away, so. <sighs> Look, I'm not a rumour monger, I'm not interested in it. But I'm hearing this from all the people who either have been in the past and are not now, or have been enemies of Smokey. And I'm not here to defend him. He didn't need it, and I don't. I couldn't care less one way or the other what the what he thinks he is. He's another uh, pseudo intellectual snob, and he is actually a bloviator. He's always bloviating. If you were to summarise, if you if you were able to get the transcript of some of his videos, his live streams, and summarise the text of what he said, you'd realise he's just like he swallowed a dictionary or something. Bloviating. Another snob. I don't hate the guy though. I mean, every time I've ever had a conversation with him, very polite, gentlemanly, you know, that, this, that, and the other. He did come in a stream with the. Uh, I was in uh, talking to uh, a lone man named Fro, aka the Pale Galilean, a nutty Catholic. And then Smokey came in, I didn't even interrupt him, I knew he was going to pop in. As soon as Fro mentioned he was there. Slagged me off for ten minutes and then went out. I couldn't have cared less. I really couldn't have cared less. But you bastards in the Smokey community, apart from one who I'm not going to mention because... I've never had a conversation with him. I'm not. I'm not all that bothered, you know. Slagging off the King James Bible, you sound like a bunch of Catholics. You are a snob, Kenny. You are a Pharisee, and a hypocrite. So.
based on their own legalism, which legalism. actually puts them in the state of being a Pharisee because they're whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones, and they're. Is that both the Puritans and the Pharisees? I don't see a line of reasoning comparing Puritans to Pharisees or a Puritanical Pharisee. I don't know. A Puritanical spirit is simply to want to meddle, just like the Northern idea that they had to tell the South what to do. We actually see this today. The Northerners, the government, those that have a Puritan historical background, they want to get in people's business. You're a Southerner because you're Southern Baptist, aren't you, Kenny? So I think you do have some form of Catholic roots. You are a Thomist. So you follow the so-called philosophy of Thomas Aquinas. Smokey follows the so-called philosophy of Molinism, a Jesuit, a Jesuit so-called philosophy. Now this does go over into both liberalism and conservatism because Republicans, they want to legislate what people do in the bedroom Democrats want to get all up in your business and tell you that you have to wear a mask in a store. The mandate. And yesterday I told him I wasn't going to put a mask on. It's a mandate, not a law. And they could go ahead and call the cops. And I'd wait right here very peaceably. What we see with these young eunuch dwarf Christians Oh, the dwarf Christians, in comparison to you, Kenneth. Dr. Kenny Rhodes, an intellectual behemoth who has reached the plateau of intellectual, biblical Christianity. You snob. What was that comment you made a month or so ago? Because I can't show him the only thing. I haven't upgraded me uh, StreamYard. I can only be corrected by people. Oh, what is it? I'm going to get it. I'm going to get this in my job. I'm going to have a... In fact, I'm going to read it and I'm going to quote it verbatim. See if I can find it. I've got a lot of stuff to look through. I'll just type in Kenny. Oh, I haven't plugged my hard drive in. Might not be able to find it. And I really can't be bothered at the moment. Not not that. Uh, I think Kenny will know which comment I'm on about. And if you call me a liar, I'll get my hard drive linked up and. Uh, I'll show you who the liar is. Uh, basically, upshot is I can only be corrected. He says he can only be corrected by those in his uh, sort of circle. Those who have earned such a place in his life. Why would anybody want to earn a place in your life, Kenny? Why would they want to do that? Oh, I can't be bothered finding it. I've got hundreds of images saved, but uh, anyway, let's listen to the rest of this drivel from Kenny Rhodes. Is puritanical Phariseeism. Okay. They want to meddle in other people's business, and yet they actually Hold on, I mean, I've just given you a couple of examples of meddling in other people's business. Characterising uh, 
standing for truth as some sort of sodomite supporter. Neither everybody comes into your studio. Not yours, Kenny. I mean, Smokey's community garbage. Get slagged up. As soon as you disagree with Smokey and they get a bit like Jamie Russell was getting, although Jamie probably deserves it. Uh, And, you do, and things are done by proxy, aren't they? Certain people will make a video for you. So, you know, I'll have a laugh at it. I went in and, uh, I mean, it didn't take you 10 minutes. And you knew it. I knew that it wouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to get it, get it sorted out uh, once you'd realised it. But, yeah, I hid comments. I hid people from your channel because I was a moderator on there. I never asked you for a spanner, Kenny. But weren't you laughing uh, about a certain individual who went into Standing for Truth channel and did basically the same thing? And you were all having a, a little laugh and a giggle about it. You big girl blouse. Anyway. This, that, this isn't the main subject to this because this is supposed to be about Calvinism. I'm going to play the rest of this just for the sake of uh, playing all of it. Are doing the same sins that they want to meddle in other people's lives or they're guilty of similar sins and they want to meddle in people's lives. But your community... But they don't have any sanctification. Hypocrite. They first need to become pure. Oh, and yeah. And then they can see... Oh, Kenny is pure. That is the implication of what you're saying here. They first need to become pure. Fairly. They have the, what they call the order of operation all backwards. Oh, yeah. According to Kenny, it must be true. I'm pretty sure they have Dane Bramage from being coddled and given participation trophies. Yeah. I've never heard of participation trophies. That's an American thing, probably. Didn't you do a video the other day, Kenny? About, uh, oh, right, let me get the facts straight here. Let me see if we still got it, got that video up. Uh, don't worry though, I downloaded it. Well, let's see if it's still there, Ken, shall we? I'll just check my notifications. I thought it was one heck of a title to put on a video from a Christian. Somebody who is supposedly um, an MDiv. He's got a Masters in divinity or something a degree in theology all I can say to your degree Kenny is so what you know in fact if I got a degree in theology I don't even think I'd tell anybody I had one or that I'd achieved that I don't I really think I wouldn't I wouldn't particularly see that as anybody's business. It isn't proof of anything, as far as I know. You know let's just check out. Because uh, I do want to, you know, I don't want to lie about anybody. Well, I wouldn't lie about anyone, but I, I, don't, I do wish to uh, make sure I don't misquote him. The, the, the title of the video, the notification still should be there. It will... Uh, What's that it then? No. Hold on, bear with me. Oh, where's that garbage video that you did? 
with that foolish title, really, Ken. Oh, where is it? I'm getting bored looking now. But you were coming off drugs, weren't you, Kenny? Weren't you? Even if the video is deleted, the title of it will show up, so. How long ago did you do that video? I'm looking at notifications now from five days ago. What a snob though, Kenny. I mean, how do you, why do you talk to people like that? Why do you do that? LPP Maddox. Going down, I got his number too. It's spelled T double O Ken, not T W O. Don't they teach English when this? Yeah, it calls me stupid. Not that stupid, Ken. Met people like you before. Think they're so clever. And you're not that clever, really, are you? Where is the notification for that garbage you uploaded with that title? I might just go to his channel and find it. I think you know something, I think he has deleted that video. Tell you what, I'm going to go to his channel. I think he may have been clever enough to at least have deleted that video. But Kenny has admitted to using certain substances. Not exactly legal. Dwarf unit, Christian boyhood. And what is it with these skanky Americans who think they're more, they, they, they think they're icons of uh, masculinity or something. What a bunch of poisonous wretches. I'm going to share a screen. Uh, well, I've got it ready, but... Uh, this is the name of his title. Vaping Delta 8 for withdrawals while titrating off of opiates. It helps my ADHD too, but... So he admits to using opiates. Let's see how far into that video I am playing this. Oh, I can't see. There's no timestamp thingy. Uh, but I'm going to share screen just to make sure that you can see this. Vaping Delta 8. I don't know what Delta 8 is. Is that on screen? Yeah. Vaping Delta 8 for withdrawals while titrating off of opiates. Yeah, really clever, Ken. 
and then Jamie Russell helps us all out, doesn't he? There is no doubt in my mind that cannabis can greatly reduce the unbearable suffering of opiate dependency. Yeah, that's very helpful of you to point it out, Jamie. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Right, let's listen to the rest of this wind of Kenny. Yep, yep. We're all good at baseball. There's nobody better at baseball. So you're just as good as a theologian as Dr. Kenny. Oh, but you're only 23, 24, 30. Oh, but because everybody's opinion is equally valid and equally true. Oh, with your opinion, Kenny, you piece of snot, is better than everybody else's because you've got this degree. And you're never, you're never backwards in coming forward to call other people stupid, are you? What a wicked thing. I mean, it's just nauseating. Surely you those that have only been a Christian for under 10 years have every equal right to talk to somebody. Pride in your voice, Kenny. And I have heard it all before. I'm sure you will say the same thing of yourself. Not that I care. I've been a Christian 30 years nearly. What do you think you are? You think you're better than anybody you've ever spoken to. Ever since I've ever seen you on Smoke seen you on Smokey's channel. I thought, what the heck does this, what is, I mean, I know that you're American, so that's partly an excuse for you. Manifest destiny. Mobile contingencies, aren't you? Unless someone's in agreement with you, Kenny, then they're stupid, aren't they? It's stupid to disagree with you. The way you were talking about standing for truth. You actually sounded like an idiot, Ken. Really? Somebody who's been a Christian for 40 years. Actually, 41 years for me. I, I've been a Christian 30 years. I've never used that as a means of sort of doing a put down on someone. I certainly don't think I'm any better or worse than any other Christian. I don't like to use this phrase, but we've all got little sort of idiosyncrasies and little failings and, you know, we are sort of human and I'm not trying to use that as an excuse for sin or, you know, to justify sin, certainly not. But I do believe I am sort of realistic about myself. I don't mind people, uh, I don't suppose it's pos uh, pleasant listening to someone point out your error or a failing or weakness, I've had it, you know, before. But you, Ken, you're always doing your little put-downs, aren't you? You're nauseating. You see the puritanical pharisaism, it's all intertwined in our culture. Yeah, I think that's probably true. School almost educates people to be just downright obnoxious. Ignorant, really. I mean, in fact, I was talking about it to my mum this afternoon because my mum's 80. She's been, I mean, it was obviously 70-odd years since she was at school and whatever. But I think schools, without, I mean, the teachers probably don't realise it. Maybe some of them do. They just want useful idiots leaving school that can read to a basic level, add up to a basic sort of level. Schools aren't in, in I mean, they might, obviously there's going to be exceptions. There are very, very uh, and I also assume that there are very scholarly people that leave school or go on to university, college, get good degrees and things like that. Yeah, that happens. 
It's very rare. I would say it's quite rare. Because a lot of students that go to university get a really garbage degree, usually in psychology or social sciences, where it's not actually a science. You know what I mean? Uh, but generally, the schools are there to produce useful uh, council estate garbage. Uh, and they're quite successful at that. I'm going to play the rest of this video because I'm sick of hearing his stupid voice. And I'm going to go on to the subject of Calvinism. And then I'm going to go on to another subject and then I'll end the stream. Unless somebody wants to comment and come in the studio. Which I doubt. That's why Charlie Daniels said, the South's going to do it again. You know what Southern people want? To live and let live. You stay out of my business, and I'm going to stay out of yours. But if you get in my business, I'm going to knock the crap out of you, and I'm going to demolish your business. Oh, right. Well, Ken, I don't know if you're thinking of me. I, don't, I mean, I doubt really whether you're thinking of me when you're saying that. But if you are, please do feel free to bring it on. Do that. Get involved in my business whatever you think that is, and destroy whatever it is, you know. Hypocrite. Piece of... Uh, I mean, I don't really like to use phrases like that, you know, but... Scripture says, stop being busybodies. Yeah. So you can tell that community over there to stop doing that saying, you know, to people like Bill, who was actually a, a nice guy, he's a decent enough guy, uh, uh, he is a Christian, he is a brother, I believe that. Uh, I've got no beef with him, but to say those things about his, his daughter who passed away, you did this, you did that, and, you know, blah, blah, I'm not repeating it. I think that's more than meddling in somebody else's business. And yet you, Kenny, getting all right just with those so-called minnows in your puny mind, you can't get on there and tell him, put him straight and tell him he was out of order doing that in, in public, as it were, on YouTube and all the other garbage that they do. All you ever do when you go into Smokey's channel is call people idiots. Yeah, clown. You clown. Right, I think that's it. I'm going to get this off the screen now. There, now then. There, I don't know whether I should play this video first or just come out with this information on Calvinism. I've had a very, very dim view of Calvinism. I'm not an expert on it. I don't need to be. It's not necessary. I'm not going to study make your pardon, the whole of Calvinism in order to form a reasonable opinion uh, and state some facts. I studied Tulip. Well, I, at least I read a book on Tulip. Uh, the whole thing a number of years ago before some of you who listened to whatever were even born can't remember what year i read uh tulip uh actually it might have been uh between 97 and 2000 or was it when i was at nottingham actually it might have been when i was at nottingham and that was 30-odd years ago. Was it? Hold on. Eight. Yeah, nearly 30 years ago. No, it can't have been. Hold on, what am I? I had not had any old property. Oh, I can't remember what year. But it would have been after 1992. Within a couple of years of that. Yeah, Calvinism, a lot of poo, to be honest with you. I mean, you just need to look at the L of Tulip. Limited Atonement, who by 
the atonement is not limited god has not limited it he hasn't said you know the atonement is only for certain people or you know the atonement is about what jesus christ accomplished on the cross his death burial resurrection ascended up into glory seated at the right hand of the father jesus christ is god Jesus brought about the atonement and it's there freely on offer for everyone. If they're willing to hear the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? The atonement is not limited in scope. If you've got a pulse and a, bright, a brain and, and a reasonable thinking level, you know, over the age of uh, accountability you know that, that the offer of the gift of salvation is there on offer anyway I'm not going to be going about Calvinism yet. I mean, I think I will do this video now. This is one put up by, uh, he calls himself Uncle Sam. I don't know anything about Uncle Sam, actually. Uh, oh, I'm tired, me. I didn't get any proper sleep last night because I was at my mum's and I slept on the set east. So, I mean, I did get some sleep, but not much. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. They call him, well, he even calls his own channel, Thick Shades. Thickshades.com. I wonder where that links to. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a YouTube channel. Yeah, thickshades.com. But if you type in thickshades.com in uh, as an earl, I wonder what it takes you to. But I'm going to come to his video in a minute. We've got thickshades.com. You see, the, the smoke, I mean, uh, you know. I'm not a supporter of Thick Shades or, or Uncle Sam or whatever he wants to call himself. But they've accused him of all sorts of dirty stuff. So. Right then, hold on. Let's play some of this. This isn't about. personalities as such I don't follow thick shades uh, I think he is probably saved no idea I haven't had that much conversation with him um, I certainly wouldn't regard him as I mean he does sort of teach expounds on his understanding of scripture I would never, uh, I don't need him as a teacher of any sort, or Smokey, or Kenny. I did sort of think that he might get into that stuff on YouTube, but no, you know, teaching, and I thought, I just couldn't have any confidence in him, really, that's the thing. Here we go, let's play Thick Shades video. <laughs> Well, let me play that slow so you can read the uh, <coughs> play it at quarter speed and I'll start it again I'll read it out as well 
So he flagged the video for privacy violation, which is actually an acknowledgement that Jay is actually him. Now the question is, dot, 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 how was he even able to skip town from Mecklenburg, North Carolina, to Riverside, California? Not sure what point is being made there. I don't understand the uh, the American stuff. If you know what I mean. Uh, How was he able to skip town? Well, you just get on a bus and move and get all your kit, whatever, don't you? So, so I got, I got this, this call, call from, from uh, Jay, Jay of California, California on Friday, Friday November, November 30th. 30th. And this is around the second or third hour. hour. And, and Jay, Jay believes believe I have a disdain for intellectualism and Bible, and Bible biblical, biblical scholars. scholars. I don't actually, for some reason, I don't know why. And I do believe he has got his degree recently. I think Smokey did complete his degree. He got the, uh, somebody accidentally let it slip, didn't they, Kenny? Uh, not that I care. It doesn't prove anything to me. Um, I'm not a Philistine or a Luddite or anything. You know, um, But I don't actually regard him as a an intellect, an intellectual, or a biblical scholar. I really don't. I know he studied scripture. I know he's a very intelligent guy. Not disputing it. I would be a fool to dispute it, wouldn't I? But all this intellectual stuff, you know, that, that, that's. Uh, That just sounds a bit off, you know. Snob. And so, and so I asked Jay to come, come on and talk, and talk about, about those things. things. So, so Jay, Jay is, is with me. me. And, and uh, uh, I want to uh, uh, come on, Jay, and regale us all with your intellect. You have reached the plateau of intellectuality and reasoning and depth of understanding so come and share it with us all uh, we're going to take, take some calls, calls as well, well I, I want to get a better understanding of where jay is coming from jay good morning sir welcome to the show welcome to the show good morning justin thank you so much for having me yeah. that is smoky when i heard this saw this video Sister Sunshine, this, that, and the other. I'm not playing all 58 minutes of this. I'm going to put a link in the uh, side chat for you to go and check it out yourself. All right. There's the link in there. That is smoky. Sir, sir, how, how old are you, Jay? Jay? When he speaks, when he talks, just compare it to the way Smokey talks. The sound of his voice, obviously, but there will be sort of... It seems to be different when because he's in a phone call with Jesse Lee Peterson and it's been broadcast, so the audio will be sort of slightly skewed, if you know what I mean. Um... But you, when, when you see this, uh, listen to this guy talking, you know who that is straight away. I'm 36. You're 36. You're 36. Um, um, so, are you, are you a Christian? Christian? Yes, yes, sir. And you, you believe, believe that, that I have a disdain for intellectualism and biblical scholars, scholars, scholarship. Am I right? Am I, right? Uh, that, 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 I believe that's, that's pretty accurate. accurate. Yeah. And, and, why and why do you do believe that? that? Well, you're, and, and perhaps I'm mischaracterizing you, you can let me know if I am, but you seem to preach from this position that 
All we need is the spirit within. And we do not need the revelation of God or his scripture or his word or even teachers or scholars. All we need is the spirit within. Um, and I find that can be a, a pretty toxic and dangerous. Um, yeah, you know, isn't it interesting that the Holy Spirit is a teacher? Faith comes by hearing, hearing comes by God's word. Do you regard yourself as a teacher, Smokey? Really? Stand, stand, stand take. Uh, because then they were just, just governing, governing or internal, internal feelings, feelings against, against someone, someone else with no objective, objective standard to uh, uh, weigh it towards. Well, what's your well, understanding? Well, there is the revelation, revelation of God, God called, called the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Uh, and do we need more, more than the Holy Spirit, Spirit to tell us what God will have us say and do? Well, we because Jesus, Jesus said, said the Holy Spirit, Spirit would teach, teach us all, all things. things. And Jesus yes, wrote not true. Absolutely true. But I don't think Jesse Lee Peterson is all that keen on scripture, to be honest. From some of the things I've heard him say in the past. I think Jesse Lee Peterson is a very intelligent guy. He's no fool. I just don't. For some reason, I just don't think he's got a high regard for scripture, more specifically the King James Bible and antecedents. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Wrong about, about that. that. No, but I think you're overextending in your interpretation of what that means. But if Jesus is not wrong about that, how am I wrong about it? Well, and, and again, I believe you're, you're overextending in terms of what you believe the function of the Holy Spirit is for. What does that mean to overextend? Well, as in... It's the function of what the Holy Spirit is for. He's a person, Smokey not a utility is the holy spirit in your view smoky some sort of mechanism and you're, and you're saying, saying you know, you know everything, everything that i possibly need to know, to know about, about life, life in the world, world will come from the holy spirit, spirit. I right. don't no, it's not a case about life in the world. If you want to live in the world as such, in the world would be the key phrase there. That's up to you. The Holy Spirit is not edifying people about living in the world. We do live in the world. We can't avoid that until we die, obviously. But the Holy Spirit is there to lead us into all truth concerning the Lord Jesus Christ in his world, in his body. It's not about surviving in California or Mecklenburg or wherever. Right? The Holy Spirit is not a utility. J. Oh, you need any exterior influence at all. You know. Is that, is that your position? Right, because how okay, well, we've got scripture. I mean, this is a thing that these two aren't even mentioning. How do, how do those, those external, external voices, voices know, know uh, uh, if, God if God is not, is not telling, telling them by way of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, how do how they, they know what they're, they're talking, talking about? about? The, well, the, the Holy Spirit is, is guiding all of us through what we know and what's been shown to us. Why would you believe them then if you have the same Holy Spirit inside of you? Why do you need them? I don't understand. A biblical scholarship, why do you need them if the Holy Spirit would teach you all things? Well, because well, the Holy Spirit will also teach us through the, the teachings of other people through the revelations that have been given to them. It's, it's not, not you, you're, you're, you're saying, you're saying it, all it all comes from inside, from inside, inside, inside period. Yes. Okay, yes. okay, well, okay, well, well then that's invalidating whether or not the Holy Spirit could use someone having a revelation like yourself, a revelation about the necessity of forgiveness and forgiving your parents. And we would say, well, unless it comes from inside, unless it's a revelation from inside, it has no way to measure. Therefore, whatever Jesse say, says can be, you know, um, disavowed. 
So you're, so you're, you're actually, actually defeating, defeating your own arguments, arguments unfortunately. unfortunately. Um, I don't um, understand your argument because, because once, once a person, a person is, revealed is revealed to a man or a woman, or woman that, that they do resent, resent their, their parents, parents, and that's, and that's why, why they're they are exterior, exterior rather, than rather than interior, interior is that they, they go, go and forgive it. It's, it's the Holy Spirit who allows them. Can I ask this question? It's the Holy Spirit who allows them to teach. I mean, I mean, to know, know that, that, that it's a resentment, resentment which, which is the same nature, 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 nature that holds hold them back. back. But, but you, uh, we, still we still have church, have church and, we and we still read, read the Bible. The Bible. I, think I think that they you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. Probably. Because if I do believe it correctly, it sounds absurd. What sounds absurd? Well, the, the, the idea is that everything just comes from within, and that we don't need the Bible, and we don't need teachers, and we don't need pastors, and really, just your argument and extended to its to its extreme logical conclusion says we don't need parents. So what Jesus is we don't need to teach us. We don't even need parents. We don't need fathers. We don't need mothers. We just need spirit. Was Jesus lying when he said the Holy Spirit would teach us all things? Was Jesus lying? No. You are all. What's the problem then, Smokey? All things mean that you are interpreting that as all, all things. Reason. Does yes, all things mean everything? In, in that in particular context, context no, it does not mean all, all things in the sense right. that he's going to teach all knowledge. What, you, you said so earlier. The gentleman right before you called said the Holy Spirit will bring things to remembrance. That's what you had quoted. Right. Yeah, but it's not about learning to live in the world, Smokey. It's learning to live, to abide in Christ. The world hates Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? But I think you view the Holy Spirit as an it, a mechanism, don't you? Right. And that's, that's, that's how the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit functions. functions. That's, that's, that's his method of teaching us. You're, you're saying, saying well, the Holy Spirit, Spirit teaches us, but he only teaches us inside. That's not what the Bible says. Bible the Holy Spirit, says. Spirit will teach us all things, 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 but he will teach us through other teach us people, people as well. People you as see, well. You, you may see, have a spiritual you revelation, you have a and I may have a spiritual revelation that's different from yours. We should share and compare them and test them to Scripture to see if they're true. Not say, well, I have a spiritual revelation from the inside, and it's not valid until someone else receives it from the inside as well. That's, we, a, that's, that's a bad, bad operator. There is nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with mentors, mentors or, or good, good examples, example, but you, you don't, don't know, know what's, what's right, right until, until it's revealed to you. To you. It's, it's a, a mistake, mistake, mistake to take another man or woman's, woman's word as something. something. You, must you must see it for yourself, yourself to know that, that it's true. true. And the only way you're going to see it is that it has to be revealed to you from within. I disagree. Why do you disagree with that? Because because people because, because people, people can have, have revelations, revelations from, from the inside, inside that are wrong. That's not true. They can, have, they can claim to have revelations from the Holy Spirit, Spirit that are not true. true. People, people can, can claim, claim to have it and not, not have it because, because Satan talked talk to, to them too. too. And, and um, uh, most how do we know the difference? How do we know the difference? Satan, Satan talked talk to you in your head. head. His, His voice is a voice, 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 voice. Where, where God's, God's voice, voice is a voiceless voice. voice. Satan, Satan talked talk to you while uh, God, God revealed to you. you. And, that's and that's why God, God said that, that you should, his, his children, children would know him, him by his, his voice. voice. But, but most, most people, people, such as yourself, have listened, have listened to the voice of Satan, of Satan and, you and you think that it's the voice of God when it's really not. And I also say that parents are good. In a way, in a way but parents need, need to be good, good examples. examples. They, they have, have to be living examples, examples of what they teach. teach. And, most and most parents, parents are not. Are not. My, my, my point, Jesse, I think, just to kind of cut, cut to, to it, it. So, so, so you, you can understand exactly, exactly where I'm coming, where I'm coming from, from, is that if you are only trusting the spirit within, you are actually going to understand where you're coming from. Conflict, conflict with other, with other people, people who also claim to hear from the spirit within, within who see something, something differently. The... What happened? What happened? Apolo apologies. apologies. Sorry, sorry, my, my, my phone changed something. something. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I apologize for that. Uh, why do the only you way reject? Why, why, why do you reject the Holy Spirit? The Holy spirit? I don't. I don't. When you trust other people, you're rejecting the Holy Spirit. That's not true. Yes, it is. 
I, no, it's not. I, I, I look at them the way I look at you and saying, well, the Holy Spirit is revealing something to him. I'd like to see what that is. And then I'm going to take what Jesse says and I'm going to apply it to Scripture because I know that Scripture is the revelation of God. And if the Spirit is giving something to Jesse, hold on. When you say scripture, which so-called Bible are you referring to, Smokey, because you hate the King James? The other day in a live stream, he was talking to someone who he obviously didn't agree with, and that's okay. Right? But the way you ask this guy this question leads me to believe that you absolutely despise the King James Bible. Oh, are you a King James only, eh? Oh, that's what you said to him, basically. And you were relieved at that, were you? It would have triggered you off. You and Rob Rowe, you, uh, that piece of garbage, that piece of rottenness, slags off the King James Bible. He doesn't even believe the scripture. He that sentinel apologetics is a theistic evolutionist. And yet you allow him into your stream to basically ridicule the King James Bible. Kenny Rhodes, the doctor, the M. Div, says the word repent. Shouldn't be in there. The, the King James translators put the wrong word in. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's metanoia. Well, yeah, it is metanoia, a change of mind, but there's more to it than that. And repent is, repent is the correct word. I don't think some of you people over there in, in, in the USA really even understand what the word repent means. I genuinely don't. I think you're a bunch of borderline Catholics. I don't know, it's difficult to know, really. Uh, if the trumpet blows an uncertain sound, who will come to the battle? And that's what I'm hearing in Smokey Kenny's community, you know, all that. A trumpet blowing an uncertain sound just jangling a lot of the time, pseudo-intellectualism, snottiness, ad hominem, a lot of real, real nastiness, and hypocrisy. Just a piece of snot. I see. I see. And he's, and he's giving something, something in scripture, scripture it will contradict. contradict. That's not true. If just just claim that he's trying to give me something that contradicts scripture, then I know it's not the scripture. Everything in the scriptures are not true. And how do you know this? Because the scriptures have been rewritten, and the men who rewritten them base them on society of the day. They have changed. No, no. Well, in one sense, the scriptures have been rewritten because we got all these new versions and all that. So-called versions, they're not translations. The King James Bible is fine. What's wrong with it? We can't be certain about God's word. We can't be certain about teaching and salvation and all the other stuff, can we? Just sorting a cup of tea out. I'm sick of these people. It's the, it's the word, word in the Bible, the Bible so, so that's why, that's why God, God, one of the reasons reason that God, God put it in our heart, heart because, because no, no one, one can change what's written in your heart. heart. Joel, Joel needs you to back, back up a little bit, right, Joel? Tell him that on the Just back up. There you go, just because your head's cut out. A little bit more closer. Really quick. There you go. There's not. Yeah. Getting it right has been a challenge. You can't prove what's right. Just because, because a preacher, preacher says, says it from the, from the Bible, Bible, he's, he's just, just an intellectual, intellectual egghead who read, who read the Bible, Bible just giving you back the, the, the words from the Bible. Bible. That, doesn't that doesn't mean that, that he's been inspired, inspired by, God. by God. True, true. 
No, I agree. I, I, don't, I don't particularly believe that scholars are, are necessarily inspired by God. I don't believe that scholarship is what is Scholars are not inspired, inspired by God. Not necessarily, but they're not. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. You're a scholar, that is why you keep going on about scholasticism. Nothing wrong with learning, of course not. What do we do when we learn? We know what parts of the we read scripture. We're learning from God, from the learning the doctrine of God. <gasps> Nothing wrong with learning. I just don't like the snobby intellectuality, so called. That comes with it when you get people like this. I mean, this guy on the right, Smokey, always going on about the early church fathers, so-called, as though they are inspired. I don't need to reference to them. What their writings are is not scripture. So couldn't give a stuff what the early church so-called fathers said. I do like one of the anti-Nicene so-called I mean, I would never use that description. I've read some of Irenaeus, uh, book six. I'm going to read all of it when I get a chance. I might even buy the book of Irenaeus against heresies. Uh, but I'm not going to make a massive effort to get it. Uh, well. No, if we want to find out... Uh, root out false teaching we go to scripture first uh, well, they they have have the yes, yes, they, they, they wouldn't would be called scholars, scholars if they, they were, not, were inspired not inspired by the bible, by the bible. They're, not they're not inspired, inspired by, god. by god and they, and tell, they tell you all, all the wrong, wrong things and you believe it because they call themselves bishop or preacher or reverend or pastor or teacher and so, and so you, you fall, fall for the, for the title, title, and that and causes you—that causes, you, that that causes, causes you, to you to fall for the, for the lie. lie. Okay. okay. Well, well it, it's, it's not—it not, has, has nothing to do with the title. title. It has to do with their field of study, study and what they've come across, across. And, and whether, whether or not, not it actually matches, matches the scripture, and whether or not it actually makes logical sense. But you're not supposed Why we need to match other stuff with scripture? Well, yeah. I mean, we do need to match other stuff with scripture. See if they're teaching correctly. The point is, why do we need to? go to the early church so-called fathers that's what why what for they weren't apostles i don't care if they were all the next door neighbor to apostle paul they weren't apostles their writings are not inspired they do quote scripture in there but that doesn't prove that everything else they've said is correct we have God's word. We have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a teacher. He leads people into all the truth. I'm not saying that we're going to know everything. But I'll tell you one thing. If you've got the Holy Spirit in your life and you're studying scripture, you're going to know when you're being lied to. And that's another useful thing. You'll have that discernment. You'll just It just won't ring true. Bit like Watchman D with his baptism overemphasis. No offense, Daryl, I believe you're a saved man, but hypocrite. And I don't care what you think. This is the Bible. Jesse, Jesse, you know what? Let, 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 me, let, me, let me just, just, just take a second because this is this 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 point point to what you just talked to your caller about, about whether or not Jesus, Jesus is God. God. Um, um, in, 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 Abandoning abandon scholarship, scholarship. Um, um, you have come, you have to, a come to a false conclusion about the identity of Jesus. Jesus. And it's very, very, very... Abandoning scholarship. Well, he's not abandoning scholarship. If he's studying scripture, he's a, well, essentially a scholar of God's word. I think I'm assuming that uh, Justin Lee Peterson, I mean, he's got his quirks and foibles and whatever. I'm not keen on some of the things he's said. But if you're studying scripture, you're a scholar, a pupil, a student. 
simply uh, uh, dealt, dealt with, in fact, uh, uh, if you realize, realize because you, you say, say, was Jesus, was Jesus, Jesus claiming to be God? What is Jesus, Jesus claiming to be God? God? He's, he's, he's actually, he's, actually, Jesus God, God. said, whoever has seen me has seen the Father. What could be clearer? Read the book of Hebrews. Are you denying scripture now, Smokey? I've never, never claimed that, claim that at all. all. Well, he does. No. In no. fact, I, if, never, if I may. That's your that's misinterpretation, misinterpretation of what you, what you think, think he had claimed. He 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 this is where I disagree with Mr. Peterson there. I like the guy. I mean, uh, Jesse Lee Peterson is very. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't want to get into an argument with him. <laughs> I do like the guy. He's very plain speaking. He doesn't blow over it anyway. I'm not going to watch all this. I'm going to take a. Hopefully, Sam will leave this video up. I'm sure he will. He's been up there since. Uh, February this year, so I can't see him taking it down. I mean, some of the things that Smokey has said about, and, and others in there have said about him, I mean, I don't know anything about uh, Thick Shades. I don't need to. Really don't need to. I'm just not keen on what's being said about him. I think it's wrong. If it's true, then I suppose it does need to be exposed. I don't deny it. I watched this video before months ago, a couple of months ago somewhere. But he ends up in a discussion. This is Smokey as well. He's obviously lost weight. I don't know when this initial stream with Mr. Peterson was. But it was obviously before February 14th this year. Who knows? But he was in a discussion with, and I'm confident that it's the same person here. I'll put the link to the main video in the side chat. There, and I'll put a timestamp to this bit here. I'll play this now. I'm sorry, sorry you were streaming. I figured I'd uh, step, step in and say, say hi before, before I went in there and did, did, did my arm work out. Oh, so. there you, there you go. go. Have a good workout. Work That's awesome. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Been doing, been doing it uh, three, four, three times, four times a week, week actually. actually. I, I didn't even know it. I've, I've lost 100 pounds over the last eight months. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Just in the gym or what are you doing diet-wise? No, no, I did. I, I did. Well, you know, actually, actually that's what I needed to do. I needed to stop looking for a better diet and just find a better lifestyle, honestly. That's true. That's like, like, you know, I changed, changed my diet habits. I changed the way I ate. I changed how much of what I ate, you know, and I just kind of really... The sister Sunshine, whoever she is, has realized uh, whatever... Anyway, I'm sick of hearing this. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. The links are in there. Go and check it out yourself. This isn't even about Calvinism, really. Oh, I have to leave my YouTube tab. Oh, well, I can get that back in a minute. Not that it matters. Right, Calvinism. I put links underneath. Uh, got it in private chat. The, I could show this on screen. I think I've got a banner with it on. Calvinism types of Amiraldism, Hyper Calvinism, Neo Calvinism, which I assume is modern day Calvinism with modernist sort of, I don't know, connotations to it. Uh, Hyper Calvinism, not, I don't know what Amiraldism is. Christian Reconstructionism. Reconstructing what? New Calvinism, I think that might, oh, there might be a difference between Neo-Calvinism and New Calvinism. 
That would be interesting to look into. But Calvinism isn't actually a new thing, you know. I did a bit more, I did a bit of research, if you can call it that, on Calvinism, and a link came up to what's called Augustine's Calvinism. The Doctrines of Grace in Augustine's Writings. It's, by, it's a book by Matthew McMahon. Yeah, Matthew McMahon. Puritan Publications, ironically enough. I'll put those two, actually what I'll do, I'll put uh, those two links in the comments. In fact, I'll open them in a new tab and I'll show you. You might want to get the book, I don't know. Right, I'll put this first link in there. There we go. And hold on, I'll get this second link. There, I'm going to uh, screen share those two links. Right, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to share screen. Bear with me. I'll use that one, it's easier. Augustine's Calvinism, the doctrines of grace in, grace in Augustine's writings by C. Matthew McMahon. I don't know anything about him. I haven't Googled his name yet. I probably will do at some point. Uh, the doctrines of grace in Augustine's writing. Who's Augustine? Uh, what century was he at now? Augustine. Oh yeah, Aurelius Augustine, three fifty four to four thirty. So he died died age seventy six. But he was around in the mid fourth century. No wonder that a certain person had a, a debate with a, the heretic, with Irenic Pelagian, because, well, he's a Pelagian. And Augustine apparently uh, refuted uh, Pelagius. I haven't looked at Pelagianism. This is a Puritan website, Puritan Publications. Uh, but this is an interesting title. I'll just make sure it's on screen. Where are we at? Oh, I'll just check it this way. Oh, no, that won't work. In fact, what I'll do, I'll stop sharing screen that way and I'll do it the other now. Share screen, bear with me. The Gnostic Origins of Calvinism. That's the thumbnail for this video, actually. Most people have heard of Calvinism and Arminianism, which opposes Calvinism. It's an offshoot of the teachings of Calvin, and most know there are many problems with the extreme forms, hyper-Calvinism, hyper-Arminianism. But what did John Calvin really teach and where did his ideas come from? Learn the true Gnostic origins of Calvinism from the ancient church so-called fathers and the compared to with scripture to clearly see the trap Satan has set to divide Bible believing Christians. Examine the doctrines of total depravity, unconditional election, 
limited atonement. I mean, they, I mean, that's dodgy there straight away. Irresistible grace. That's another dodgy phrase. Irresistible grace. It. I mean, are the Calvinists trying to tell us that God forces grace upon people? You can resist God's grace. Perseverance of the saints, along with predestination, foreknowledge, replacement theology, which is a heresy, amillennialism, another false teaching, another heresy. I wouldn't use early church so-called fathers to validate scripture at all, ever, never. But I mean, the, I mean, I've read some of Irenaeus' writings. I think I've read all chapter six and maybe seven and eight. I can't remember now. Very interesting guy, but he's anti-Nicene. I don't. I mean, I don't like. As soon as somebody refers to someone as the father, then that's just totally dodgy, isn't it, Kenny? Because Kenny, of course, has stated, and please ask him. You know, let's hear him deny it. Kenny Rhodes actually thinks he's a father in the body of Christ. Wow. Arrogance much, Kenny? Please. Right, now then, I'll have a quick look inside this. I don't know if it's going to show up. Sometime explore con Calvinist history. Rise of the Valentilian, excuse me, I'll just see if it's on screen, yeah, Rise of the Valentinian Gnostics, AD 20 to 200, I'm going to look up this Valentinian stuff, I have read something on it, come across that, Egyptian Essenes, Simon Magus, yeah, I think we read of him in scripture. If you really want to expose if this book's anything to go by, The Gnostic Origins of Calvinism, this would be a useful book to get hold of. I mean, it only costs, uh, oh, $8 American. That's not a lot of money. Oh, eleven dollars paperback American. You can get it free actually on on Kindle. So there's a link there. I'd prefer the paperback to be honest. But you can get a new one for what eleven dollars. You've got it there on your bookshelf, then, haven't you? I don't like reading from a laptop. It's awkward. Right. Uh, I have no intention of studying Calvinism. I mean, you only need to read the tulip. And you know it just sounds dodgy. But you've got all sorts of Calvinists going into Smokey's channel. That's up to them. That's up to Smokey. I don't care. Just pointing it out, and then you got nutty Catholics like Fro, a lone man named Fro, aka the Pale Galilean, and 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 Fro, being a, a nutty Roman Catholic, and he really is nuts. I mean, it's just totally cognitively dissonant. It's nauseating. He actually thinks he's born again. A Roman Catholic actually thinks that, I mean, I've heard this before, certain Roman Catholics saying that. One would wonder what, in a, what on earth they precisely mean about it. A Roman Catholic saying he's born again. Wow. He didn't like it when I went into Praiser's channel and pointed out that he's lying. He is not born again. He hasn't got the Holy Spirit in him. 
He thinks the Inquisitions were humanitarian. He says he's a Christian. You've got to be very careful with Roman Catholics. They are like snakes, literally. <coughs> and I couldn't care less what you say. I don't mind being contradicted and stuff, but, you know, let's be real, bro. You're not born again. You're not a Christian. No Roman Catholic is Christian. While they confess themselves to be Roman Catholic, while they hold to their doctrines. If, you know, if someone's truly gets saved while they're involved in Roman Catholicism, because I led one guy out of it. Well, not me, I mean... I witnessed to him, he was Roman Catholic, uh, you know, rosary and all that sort of thing. He left it, he went and handed his rosary back into the chaplaincy at uh, Lindholm, and the Catholics at Lindholm Jail hated me even more. <laughs> yeah. It was just a, a sort of... Oh, I'm not going to go into that, but I mean, I was just walking around the uh, exercise yard, and I was talking to Mike, I won't give you his last name, it's none of your business. I said, well, let's just go in the chapel and potter about in there, you know, because it's usually left open during the day at weekends. You can go in and look at the little so-called library that they've got. And I got, just got talking and I just said a few things to this guy about Catholicism and all that, the false teaching. I think it was the next day or the following Monday, he just dumped his so-called rosary and said, I'm not a Roman Catholic anymore, blah, blah. Yeah, and the Roman Catholics at uh, Wymot hated me as well. <laughs> Absolutely infuriated with me. But yes, the Gnostic origins of Calvinism, I'll put a a bit Leo in there. Check it out if you want to buy it or get it free on Kindle. Why not? But I think Calvinism is actually Catholic. I don't trust ex Catholics. And I won't deny that, you know. Uh, a Catholic can get saved. I'm hopeful that Fro will actually get saved. But I could never trust him as a brother. I don't trust Christians anyway, brother Christians, because I'm not required to, I don't need to. Psalm 118, verse 8. But I've come across these so-called ex-Catholics on YouTube. You just need to go through their videos Look at the titles on some of them. See what they say about Revelation 17, if they've done a video on it, or the rapture, or, or, or something, you know. Then you usually find out quick enough. I'll put that link in there. Yeah. Yeah, you can get a Kindle book of it. Now, I can see that somebody's watching because I don't have a YouTube tab open at the moment. Make a comment. Come in the studio if you want. I'm going to stop sharing screen anyway. Come on in. I don't care who you are as long as you're polite. Make a comment if you want. Or don't. I'm not worried about it. I'm just putting this out there. Somebody will... Check it out and, and, you know, have a quick gander. Yeah, there's not much activity. I mean, it is Christmas Day, isn't it? So I'm not going to buy this book. Right, 
think I'm going to end the stream here unless somebody makes a comment. Would be nice to have a chat with somebody you want. Well, good day there. I do remember someone coming into my studio yesterday. And I watched part of Smokey's latest stream. Slagging somebody off, probably. I didn't watch all of it. Couldn't be bothered. The usual sicker pants in there. Dove of peace. Is that you? You came into my studio as soon as I put you in, in the... Uh, sorry, you came backstage. As soon as I put you in the studio, you left. So I think I know who it is. The Dove of peace turned up in my channel. And in smoke is to bring light to all the arguments that's going on and sort it out. Personally, I think you're very naive, Mr. Uh, Dove of Peace. I haven't blocked you, by the way. Right, I'm going in a minute. It seems to have gone, so... I don't give, you know, I'm sick of these liars, hypocrites, Kenny, you really are a hypocrite, a snob, a Pharisee. Anyway, just to make sure you... Oh no, I'll put that there, I think. I don't think I want to share it anymore. Uh, I can't share images because I haven't upgraded. I don't think I'll bother. Here's a message to Kenny and the community of Smokey.
Right, I'm closing the stream now. I'm just going to go and pin this comment. Going to end the stream. If you wanted to come in and chat privately, you can. This comment, I know a certain person won't come into uh, a live stream studio anymore because he's being bullied on YouTube. How pathetic. In fact, I'll put a link in the info under the video and you can come in as soon as I've entered the stream if you want. Here's the link going in there just under just under the heading. Let me see. There. And once the stream's done with you can come in. I'll be here for five or ten minutes. I'll wait for you. No problem. 